Man, are we, should we be scared or not? I, don't know. <laughs> I do have red hair. <laughs> now, now Tyson's got bulls. Look at these things, man. Steers, bulls, whatever you want to call them. You better just stay right there. Leave my bees alone. At least it's got the points. You better, it's all off. You better stay right there. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> <laughs> I'll get my Glock after your ass. Oh, gosh. <laughs> Hmm. What do you think? Look what we Pretty have. Cool so far. Look what we have. Yes. Yes. Are we the first ones in Tennessee with a flow hive? <laughs> I don't know. We're in Georgia right now, so maybe we're the first <laughs> ones in Georgia. <laughs> uh, well, if you don't know what this is, you're going to be surprised. It is basically a new technology. I follow these guys from the beginning on their Indiegogo project. It's really uh, out there as far as bee technology. <laughs> the beekeeping industry really hasn't changed much. We're talking hundreds and hundreds. We're talking centuries. So this is a new technology. It seems to be proven. It was developed in Australia. Yep, honeyflow.com. There you go, Bear. Don't even have to put a link now, do I? Yeah. I'll put a link anyway, just so you don't have to type. You know, you, you don't want to get your fingers tired nah. typing. So, Bear, let's grab the knife and we'll open her up. Bear, this looks like the path of least resistance mm -hmm. right here. The Kershaw is a little sharp, it still cuts tape. Ooh. I don't remember ordering three of them. Hmm, I guess that was the, they had like a package, you know, a perk package. I figured I'd open them. Feels like I opened it from the wrong end, but let's take these out. I'll call it the to get them out. Aha! Uh -huh. What do you think? For goal. There must be some other stuff. Oh, here we go. Well, aren't they sweet? Oh, wow. They're sweet. They sent us a veil. It's got flow it's like hive on it. Child, child size veil. I think. Yeah. It's a lot smaller than ours, isn't it? Oh, that's cool. All right, cameraman. Look. <laughs> oh, yeah, that is cool. What happens is the bees will fill this up. You can see these cells are tilted uh, to hold the honey in. You'll turn a cam, you'll turn this cam, and that separates the inner part, and the honey flows down the center and out uh, this tube huh. right here. See? So I'm going to go ahead and put one of these in, and in the spring, we're going to start a new hive, and we'll use these two in our new hive. But I want to get an early start. <laughs> I don't want to wait till spring. I want to go ahead and see how the bees, the only problem I'm seeing right now is that this is pretty deep. Um, in other words, I don't know if we'll have bee space above this. Uh, oh. We might not, so looks like we're gonna have bee space over here and we'll have it on the bottom. Maybe what we can do is put this in next to the feeder and maybe it won't need much bee space. Yeah. Let's go find out. Go say hi to the bees. There, this is how we wear our veils in Tennessee. <laughs> Very poche. poche. See, it's just for shade on one side, <laughs> and you put that. <laughs> I like it. I think all I want to do is take the netting off of it, and, I, and I'll have a boonie, a flow high boonie hat. That'd be cool. <laughs> we forgot our wood chips and our pine straw, so we're just going to take some tissue. Light it. I got this turned all the way. And once that gets going good, we're going to cram it full of this field straw we found. And put all that in there, huh? I'm trying to 
separate this this time because last time there we go wow we got some real bead work going on here <laughs> it's all right. It's getting real now. <laughs> uh, I really don't think it's going to hurt to add that frame. All right, so Barrett, let's pull this back. What I want to do is get, well, look, we're on the side of that already. We're getting some real B count here now. Oh, my goodness, man. <laughs> we'll put that over there because the wind's blowing this way. I don't think it's going to hurt just to slide the flow hive right in here because look here. Let me take the B cam. Oh, I see your idea with that. See, the B cam will just be mounted on the frame eventually. I think what I'm going to do, I'm going to put the flow hive in here mm -hmm. if, it, if it'll fit. I don't know, maybe I should put it in on the end. Cause they've already started working these. I don't have a bee trapped in there, do I? No. It's just propolis, I'm feeling. It's weird because sometimes when you think you're squishing them, it's it's just where the propolis is going back together. Ready? Yep. Uh shoot. I was expecting that to slide in. It's just because of those tabs. I think. I'm getting rid of those tabs. If that's all it is. For sure. <laughs> yeah. We found a new use for the flow hive, uh, the, the hive tool. <laughs> Alter the design a little bit. Uh, the bees are like, hey, what the heck's going on over there? Earthquake. Here, let's do it with a knife. Maybe it won't make them so mad. Dang, I got a bee over here. Okay, our first mod, our first modification. <laughs> oh man, they're buzzing like crazy. That's all right, they're not bothering us. All right, so we're gonna slide that down in there and we're gonna put it right next to the last frame. Then we're gonna ask them to go by that to get to the feeder. They'd have to go on the sides. Well, there's a little bit of bee, too high, there's right? a little bit of bee space there. I don't know if you can tell. Get a, get a close-up view of the space in there. See, I think they're going to be able to make it. Barrett, I was, we were driving down the road, <laughs> and what did I do? I said, oh my God, I vaguely remember seeing this in a video where you have to basically set the, when you first get the flow hive, it's open. And you gotta turn this cam to shut it before you put it into the hive. So I'm gonna lay that right there. And then we're <laughs> sorry bees. Oh look, there's some beetles right there. Kinda glad it came back. What kind of beetle that is. You think we should have read the directions? <laughs> so Barrett, I think all we gotta do is take this little piece out right here. Without killing myself. Well, poking myself. Oh, I guess you can. Oh, you just reach in there. Now, look at the. Watch the. Can you zoom in on these? Make sure you can see it. It's not too blurry. Ready? Yeah. Is it doing anything? All right, Barrett, put it in there. I'm going to try to get a picture of it. Okay, they're moving together. Now, show them what it looks like when they slide apart. I don't know if I'm focused or not. Okay, now you can see it. Now I see it. The thing is, ours was closed, wasn't it, Barrett? Yeah. I could swear it was closed already. So we were kind of confused a little bit. All right, so it's not that they come together. I don't know if you can see it. What was bothering me, Barrett, hold the frame for a second. I don't know if you can tell this, but the, the, the ends of the cells are not flush with each other. So I guess the bees will take care of that. All right, let's put her back in there. <laughs> so Barrett, the only thing, only suggestion I would make to the flow hive people is to 
you need to leave a little more room. Those tabs. This is a regular Langstroth. These are regular Langstroth frames, okay? And I couldn't get it in there, right? Mm -hmm. Without cutting the tabs off. And so I don't really think I've changed the performance of the of the frame at all. I think I just going you know allowed me to put it in my hive. Mm -hmm. So I'm gonna allow a little bit extra space here, not much, since since this is taking up so much vertical space, then we'll move this back over and we'll also give a little more space on the other side of the feeder. <laughs> I'm gonna get my bee brush and brush these guys off. All right, guys, you ready? All right, we're gonna put this back. Watch out, guys. Watch out. And put this back. And my old memory well crud. We're going to put that back in when we come back, okay? <laughs> I'm not opening up the hive again. Yep. <laughs> Barrett, you like my boonie hat? I like it, Dad. It ain't on straight, is it? Is it on straight? It is. Uh, now it is. I adjusted it. So, we are highly technical beekeepers. Mm -hmm. We are in, ingenious. We're, what's the word? Innovative. Innovative. <laughs> ingenious. If you can't think of the word, you ain't that, right? Long <laughs> <laughs> uh, bull watch. Hello. What is up? Oh my goodness, scrubbing my hands out on this slab. Are you hot? Are you hot? We're down. Oh, yeah. We're down here running from the bulls. It's it's the run. Oh yeah. You can't let them out, bitch. Not not yet. I was thinking about it. Don't do that, please. Don't do that. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we got the running of the bulls in Flintstone, Georgia. Yeah. Now one of them, the black one, took interest in us when we first drove up. And I was like, I, hon I honked at Barrett, and I said, "Get back in the truck. We'll call Tyson." And you didn't answer. You didn't answer, so we just went ahead and <laughs> took a chance. <laughs> uh, yeah, just make sure you don't tear them out. Good Lord, that fair mess. No, no, no. We. Uh, the reason I actually t honked the horn at Barrett when he was opening the gate was because what, that black one acted like he was going to come over, but he, then he changed his mind. And uh, no, we've always been real careful. I, I'm not going to let anything out of this field, that's for sure. Yeah. All right, well, thanks, Tyson. Yeah, I'll catch on. Right. Right. See you. Okay. Tyson is a good guy. He, yeah. He's the owner of the property. He's letting me put my beehive here. And I'm always calling him up, giving him a hard time about his pigs, his, his bulls, his horses. <laughs> I don't know if you remember, if you look at our early videos, remember Barry, mm -hmm. when the horses, remember the first hive, the beat, the horse, uh, Firecracker, one of the crazy horses, I nicknamed her Crazy Horse, uh, picked up the, the package of bees and I guess realized what it was and dropped it on the ground. Remember that? Yep. <laughs> of course, we lost that hive too, unfortunately. It flew off on us, but thankfully this one's uh, okay. You locked her up good? Yep. That's good. I don't know how much one of those steer, what are they called? Bull steer? Mm -hmm. Cows Bulls with horns? <laughs> how can I be a southerner and I don't know what a, a steer is? A <laughs> Brahma bull, a heifer. Heifer. My wife gets mad when I call her a heifer. <laughs> uh, Nice.